Welcome to week three of the Franken Scrap Crochet Along, and this week we're making the bamboo stitch. So this is a bit like the bean stitch, in that it's made with little puffs that slant to one side, but it's just a bit more substantial. So to get started with this stitch, we're going to be making a foundation chain of 33 stitches. Okay, so to make a bamboo stitch, we're going to be working into the third chain from a hook. So you're going to yarn over, then insert your hook into that third chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and now you're going to slip stitch through one loop only. Yarn over, insert your hook back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you've now got four loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. So you're going to have a nice chunky stitch there and then you're going to chain one. Skip the next stitch and in the following stitch we're going to make another bamboo stitch. Yarn over. Skipping that stitch, insert your hook into the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop, slip stitch into through that first loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. So it's forming a sort of a puff stitch. So it's quite a nice thick stitch. Then chain one. Skip the next stitch. Yarn over, skip, insert your hook into the next one. Yarn over, pull up a loop, slip stitch through that first loop only. Yarn over, insert your hook back into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then chain one. And we're going to continue this till the end of the row. Skip the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Slip stitch through that first loop only. Yarn over, insert your hook back into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over again and pull through all four loops on your hook. So now we have two stitches left to the end of the row. We skip the next stitch and bamboo stitch into that last stitch. Slip stitch into there, yarn over and then finish off by pulling through all four of those loops on your hook. So everything has a lean. It's all leaning sideways thanks to that first slip stitch on your hook. So now you're going to turn and we start the row by chaining two. That chain two does not count as a stitch. Yarn over and in the chain space, which is that chain one space, which is here. So there's our last bamboo stitch right there on the end. And this here is our chain space. And we'll be working all the bamboo stitches from here on in, in every row into the chain spaces. So insert your hook into that chain space and make a bamboo stitch, same as we did before. Yarn over, back into the same stitch, so into that same chain space. Yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one. Skip the next bamboo stitch, which is there, 
and work the next one into the chain space. And you're going to continue this all the way across the row. Oops, sorry, I just dropped my arm. And your final stitch of the row will be made in the chain space. Oops, pull my yarn too tight. So your last stitch will be in that chain space between your turning chain and your first bamboo stitch. So although the turning chain of each row does not really count as a stitch, you will be working between it, but not in it. But I'm just going to skip ahead. I've finished the stitches in this row and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so at the end of the row, and I've got my last bamboo stitch here, and the chain, uh, turning chain is here. I'm going to make my last bamboo stitch of the row between that last bamboo stitch of the row below and the turning chain. So it just inserts into here. Oops. So a slip stitch, yarn over, back in between that chain space and the last bamboo stitch. And then yarn over, pulling through all four loops. And there we go. So I have five bamboo stitches on this row and five in this row. Because of that lean, it looks a bit like you've got an extra stitch. But if you count one, two, three, four, five bamboo stitches there, one, two, three, four, five. So you have the same in both, but that lean makes it look like an extra stitch. That will correct itself as you go up. So on this row, your last bamboo stitch will go here between the bamboo and the turning chain and it goes right in there. And that's how you finish every single row for the bamboo stitch. Okay, so at the end of the row, and I've got my last bamboo stitch here, and the chain, uh, turning chain is here. I'm going to make my last bamboo stitch of the row between that last bamboo stitch of the row below and the turning chain. So it just inserts into here. So a slip stitch, yarn over, back in between that chain space and the last bamboo stitch, and then yarn over, pulling through all four loops. And there we go. So I have five bamboo stitches on this row and five in this row. Because of that lean, it looks a bit like you've got an extra stitch, but if you count one, two, three, four, five bamboo stitches there, one, two, three, four, five. So you have the same in both, but that lean makes it look like an extra stitch. That will correct itself as you go up. So on this row, your last bamboo stitch will go here between the bamboo and the turning chain and it goes right in there. And that's how you finish every single row for the bamboo stitch. You're going to be making 36 rows for the bamboo stitch. And once you finish row 36, you can cut off and weave in your ends. And that will be week three of the Franken scrap complete. So if you need to see where this piece goes in relation to your other two, click on the link in the um, description of this video and you can see where the piece fits and how to fit it together with last week's pieces. So thank you for joining in and I shall see you next week for the next part. Bye for now.